Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming an empties video. I love these videos, so I'm just going to get right on into it because I really just do not like long intros. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. get started, I just want to say one little disclaimer. If at any point in this video it looks like I'm not wearing a shirt, I really am. I'm wearing a strapless jumper, or er, romper, and I'm really just like keeps sliding down a little so sorry but we're just gonna go ahead and get started now the first item that I've used up is this Colgate baking soda and peroxide whitening toothpaste um, for a toothpaste sure this is pretty well but I don't think it whitened my teeth as much as I would like so I'm still looking for a better toothpaste the next item that I used up is this Matrix Total Results Miracle 12 Leave-In Treatment. And this is a really nice product. I have purchased like four of these, I'd say. And I really like just everything about it. It really protects my hair, strengthens it, helps with the ends, all of that. So this is a really good product for the price, um, $16 it says. The next product that I've used up is the Milkshake Conditioning Whipped Cream, and this stuff is amazing. I started using this because I have pretty dry ends, and they look a little frizzy. So, I started using this, and it just really helped. It is $20, but this is an amazing product. If I had to pick one hair product, I would pick this. It's amazing. Next up is this Pure Acetone from, I don't know, the brand. Um, it's just Walmart. And this stuff really dried out my hands, which it is acetone. And I don't know. It took a really long time to use up, so I guess that's a plus. But it was pretty good for 3 bucks or whatever. The next product that I used up are these makeup wipes from Global Beauty Care. It's the Argan Oil ones. And I was just getting these, I think I got them at like dollar store or something, to, um, I didn't have any makeup removing wipes and so I was trying to try some out. But since I do wear waterproof makeup, it is, these did not work very well for me, but my face makeup, it really helped take that off. The next item I used up is a Malibu Heat Body Lotion and... I really do love the smells and varieties that Bath & Body Works has, but I don't really like this on my legs um, because it can make them really sticky and sometimes it takes forever, like a couple hours to dry. And so i just not a big fan of this, but for my hands, it works very nicely. The next item that I used up is the Clean & Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser. It is oil-free with bursting beads. and I've repurchased this like about three times maybe. I've been using this for a long time and it is a pretty nice cleanser. I really like it because it wakes me up in the morning and on those school mornings you really need something that's going to just like energize you and make your face. Like for me if my face gets clean like I have to clean my face every morning. It just really wakes me up. So I really recommend a morning type cleanser and this one is really nice. Next thing I used up is the Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh Cleansing Facial Towelettes and this is just a travel size. These are an amazing wipe. I love them actually. I think I'm going to go buy the bigger size which the bigger size is like six bucks but these worked so nicely at removing my eye makeup. It's just really nice and like when I'm traveling, I don't want to carry around like a liquid eye makeup remover because what it, it could spill. So these are really nice. Next product that I used up is this hair mousse from the brand April. I have no clue where I got this and I did not like it that well. I think I got it when back when I used to scrunch my hair, which I stopped doing that because my hair doesn't scrunch very well because it's not that wavy. So this, I just don't like it compared to my other mousse, the milkshake one. Ooh, the next product that I used up is this Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle Deep Treatment. This is amazing. I've been using this since I was um, 
probably in fourth grade. This stuff is really nice for the quality and it's a really nice deep moisture hair mask. I use this about once to twice a week I'd say and I really really like it. The next item that I used up is this fine hairstyle spray gel and it's a root lifter. This stuff I felt like it did nothing really so I gave some of it away um, in this little bottle for my friends to try. They didn't really like it either so I'd say no and this is from Pantene. Oh, and then I guess I, I used up two of these um, Miracle leave-in treatments, so I at least had to buy four to six of these, I'd say. Really nice product. I used up this Whitens and Brightens Tea Lavers, Lavers, don't know how to pronounce it, Whitening Rinse, and this was okay, but the Listerine one works a lot better. I used up this vanilla hand sanitizer. Um, it doesn't say the brand, but it was a dollar, so it was probably at like Target. I used up the Sweethearts Honey Sweetheart Body Lotion from Bath and Body Works. I used up the iHeart Watermelon Apple. Um, is that right? Yeah. iHeart Watermelon Apple Pocket Back from Bath and Body Works. Love this one. Um, I used up this CoverGirl clean makeup in 120 creamy natural and this one is way too dark for me so um i actually do my friend's makeup and this matches her and so technically she used it up but i'm gonna say i did so yeah um it looked like it applied really nicely it looked pretty natural i'd say um i don't know the wearing power but the next item I used up is the e.l.f. Waterproof Eyeliner Pin. Let me see where I can get it to. Nope, pretty much dried out. And this is really nice for a dollar or two. The next item I used up is another I Heart Watermelon Pocket Back. My favorite, probably. Another thing I used up is this Body Fantasies Cotton Candy Fantasy. It's just a little cotton candy. Ooh, just a little cotton candy um, perfume and it smells amazing love cotton candy smells but it is really strong so I recommend not spraying this um, around certain people the next item I used up is this clear um, the secret clear gel outlast and I really like gel deodorants and this one is really nice okay I think we're finally getting to where the makeup is at the bottom of this bag um, the first thing I used up is the Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara in Waterproof. And I'll show you the brush. Sorry, it is not going in focus very well. It's like the lighting's changing. But this is probably my favorite uh, mascara from the drugstore. I think it's like 8 or $9 though. But it is really nice. And I like to put it over like any... I usually do two coats of mask or two different types of mascara, and so if the first one's not waterproof, I always make sure I use this one over it because it is amazing. Either that, or I'll use my next empty, which is the Maybelline the Rocket Volume Express mascara, and I actually never thought that I'd run out of this, and it has literally gone so clumpy on me, it's not even funny, but. Can't even show you the brush because it's so clumpy. But I'm in love with it. But the only problem with this one is I picked it up in brown because I got it like the first day it came out and I accidentally grabbed the brown one. Then the next thing I used up is this e.l.f. Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. I've gone through like 20 of these. I don't know. I love this lash thing but I think I'm gonna be trying a new one because I just like to try up new things all right and then my last empty is the Rimmel stay matte pressed powder so empty literally this was an amazing product but I've actually moved on to a new powder and that is the NYX photogenic powder and it is completely amazing it has changed like my whole makeup the way it applies goes on 
It's phenomenal. It's an amazing powder. Get it now. These I have. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know it is kind of long, but I, I just have so many empties. And I'm pretty sure you guys like watching these videos because I get requests to do empties every month. So I just don't know. But thank you guys for watching. Um, I love all the support I've been getting lately. A lot of people have been asking me for requests asking me to do all kinds of videos and I am going to start doing those soon and I think I'm going to make a video announcing a new summer thing I'm going to be doing so look forward to that bye